Not that much severe weather today, but in the near future, we're going to have a lot of flash flooding and a lot of temperatures below zero very soon. Good morning, I'm Meteorologist Pew. It's November 22nd, 2025. It's been a while since we don't have any flash flood risk or severe weather risk, but for places like Arizona, you guys are going to see some storms around 2 p.m. Pacific time. And what's most likely going to be the case is you guys are going to see one big band of heavy rain, and then afterwards, you're going to see some isolated storms. And so you can expect this band of heavy rain throughout the day, but for the isolated storms, you can still expect that overnight as well. And for places like New Mexico, this band of storm won't hit the border of Arizona and New Mexico until about midnight. And so New Mexico in general, you guys can expect heavy rain throughout the night and into the next morning. And then for states in the southeast, you guys are seeing remnants of the storms from yesterday, but nothing crazy. You guys can expect very isolated storms this morning, afternoon, and into this evening. Now looking at 500 millibars or midway to troposphere, going back to the southwest, we still have this upper level low pressure system. And so for right now, it's bringing in a lot of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. And that's why we're seeing a lot of rain for Arizona and then New Mexico. And what we saw for the last two days is essentially going to happen again for places Places like southern Texas and the southern plains where tomorrow the weather prediction center has issued a slight risk for flash flooding throughout this area and with the previous low pressure system now diminished it's brought in a high pressure and it's pretty broad and it's sitting around the Ohio Valley region and that's going to be bringing in that clockwise flow bringing in that Gulf moisture into the Texas and southern plains and with this new developed low pressure system that's going to be coming in that's counterclockwise flow we're going to have those winds collide again more cooler air and warmer air and we're going to have both the cold front and these surface conversions now looking even further into the future around November 24th and 25th, we're going to have an atmospheric river event somewhere around the Pacific Northwest region. Currently in this moment, we have an upper level low pressure sitting around the Northern Pacific region, and that's going to be reaching down and infecting a lot of moisture into this area. And looking even further ahead to Thanksgiving Day and the end of that week, places like the Northern Plains, Midwest, Northeast, this low pressure system, ensemble models are indicating that this is going to be causing a pretty broad trough. And as we know with troughs, it's going to be bringing a lot of cool air from the north. And so we're going to have freezing temperatures all around this region. And even further ahead in the future, Future for November 29th through the first week of December, all the ensemble models, including the Euro, GFS, and the Canadian, are all in agreement that we're going to have a really broad trough going all the way down to the southwest. And so, what this means by the end of November and first week of December, you guys might hear a term called polar vortex, which is essentially a big cutoff low going all the way from the north to the south. And so, ensemble models are essentially a big collection of different models and like getting the average of them. And so, if ensemble models are in agreement of this, there's a pretty likely chance that this might happen. And we can see this for the Climate Prediction Center too is they're also predicting much below average temperatures for the northern regions especially. And so for around this time frame for places especially in the north you guys can expect freezing temperatures even below zero. But it's still a long ways away so definitely stay tuned for updates.